Jean Fung used to say you should approach the meditation as a game, something you play at. Of course, he, of course he didn't mean playing in a desultory way. Approach that as a game that you'd like to master. But an important part of it is that you enjoy it. After all, we are working on a skill. And if you do too tense and tight around the skill, it's hard to gain a sense of fluency. So look at the breath as something you want to explore. There's new territory. There's always something new to learn. You can meditate for decades and still keep finding new things about the breath, how the mind relates to the breath. Just take an inquisitive stance. Try things out. You want them to work well. That's the serious part of the meditation. But as you get more and more acquainted with the mind, you begin to realize that working well can work in many different ways. There are different types of concentration, different levels of concentration, different ways you can play with the breath, different ways you can conceive of the breath. You can try them out. And as with any experimental project, there will be some times when the experiments don't work. But you don't get frustrated. You just say, well, it's a different way of approaching it. This is how the Buddha approached his, his quest. He never let himself get frustrated, even though he was very serious in wanting true happiness. It wasn't so serious that they got dejected when things weren't working. He learned how to keep his spirits up. So learn how to keep your spirits up as you practice. Approach this as a game, something that you can enjoy. An opportunity to learn. And in that way you're much more likely to succeed.